All right, so why doesn't watermelon flavor taste like actual watermelon? I looked more into the history of flavors and it's actually really interesting. So I already talked about banana flavor on the video where this comment came from. I'm just surprised by how far back these flavors actually were developed. So the banana flavor that I talked about on that last video um, was around like 1860s. Uh, grape flavor was around like 1910, 1911. So just like banana flavor more closely represented the type of banana that was available at that time. The same thing with grape flavor. So it more closely represents Concord grapes, which were more popular during that time period. So we also have to understand that the technology to actually figure out what compounds are in these different fruits and to isolate them, that technology has come a long way. So if you think back to when these flavors were being developed, um, you know, even the 1950s, 60s, 70s, we didn't have the technology that we have today to uh, determine what the compounds were in the fruits that were potentially um, contributing to the flavor. And we also didn't have the technology to necessarily isolate them either. So to develop a flavor back then versus now was a lot different. And since a lot of those flavors have been around for so long, they've just stayed that way because that's you know, what we expect when we expect a grape flavor, a cherry flavor, a banana flavor, because they've been around for so long. Um, like I said in that last video, we have the technology now to make it more closely representative to the actual fruit, but that's not what we expect because when we expect you know, these candy flavors, we expect those ones that have been around for so long. So even with the technology we have today, it's really difficult to mimic exactly, you know, the flavor of any given fruit because that flavor in the fruit can be made up of hundreds of different compounds. In addition, some flavor compounds just tend to break down really easy, so they're really difficult to incorporate into flavors. That's the case with watermelon. So the compound that is responsible for its distinct flavor and aroma breaks down really easily, so it's difficult to put it in a flavor, which is why the watermelon flavors that we have now don't taste much like watermelon because that main compound can't be used in flavors because it breaks down easily. Attempts to make structurally similar compounds have been attempted and none have been successful. So for now, we're not gonna have a watermelon flavor that tastes like actual, actual watermelon, but we do have watermelon flavor. So if you like that, that's probably here to stay for a while.